So moving on to our next topic on mobile automation with APM, we are going to look at how we can handle different alert windows and how we can perform some operations on these alert windows uh, in the iOS app. So let's first look uh, at the app and how these alert windows look like and uh, how do we handle these alerts uh, inside the app. So uh, I'll open the iOS uh, app here. And here we have got uh, the UI kit catalog. Uh, inside this, we have got uh, a menu which is called the alert views. Now, if, if you click here, you will see there are different alert styles. And uh, the simple one is just the alert uh, with a OK button. So if you click on the OK, it closes. And then uh, there is a OK and cancel. So this uh, alert, uh, it contains two buttons, OK and cancel. So you can either click on OK or you can click on cancel. Then uh, there is a other window. Uh, it has got a couple of choices, as you can see. And then uh, we have also got a text entry. So in this particular alert, uh, you can actually type uh, some text, okay? So uh, after you type a text, you can click on OK. So these are the different alert style windows uh, which are present in this particular app. And we will see a couple of them, how we can handle these um, in our APM automation. So uh, let's go back uh, first to the APM inspector and let's try to inspect all these elements. So we'll come back here uh, in our APM inspector. Here uh, we have got a capability for uh, the uh, iOS app. So we'll start the session with that. Okay, so uh, we can see here now, uh, we have got uh, this UI kit catalog page uh, and we need to click on the alert views. So uh, if I inspect this alert views, I can see there it contains uh, accessibility ID. So I'm going to copy this accessibility ID for alert views so that we can perform the click operation on this. So let's get back uh, to our uh, IntelJ and here in our project, I have already created um, uh, alerts test class inside the iOS package. Now here, uh, most of the construct is still the same. We are not changing anything here, okay? So here uh, in the test, uh, we can then write driver dot find element. We'll use uh, one of the APM by locators, uh, which is the accessibility ID. And here we'll put the accessibility ID and then uh, we'll perform a click operation. So that will click on the alert views and it will take us to the next page. So let's look at now. So we'll tap here. And then uh, let's first work with the simple alert style. Okay, so uh, we'll select the simple alert style. Again, you can see uh, it has got accessibility ID. So I'm going to use that. Um, and here I'm going to say driver dot find element. Again, I will use the accessibility ID. and we will click on it, okay? So now uh, once we click on it, then uh, coming back here, so let's tap on this. And here you will see this alert will be displayed. And then we have just one option, which is to click on okay and close this particular window. So uh, we are going to do that through automation. And for that, uh, we will use something called switch to, okay? So this switch to method is used uh, to switch to a particular window. Now in this case, it is an alert window. So here uh, we will say switch to alert. And then there are a couple of methods uh, in this alert class. So uh, one method, which is the accept method. Now this accept method is very similar to clicking on the OK button. Okay, so it will accept uh, that particular um, alert window and it will close it. So that's what uh, we are going to do. Now, this particular method is very similar to what we use in Selenium on our uh, web applications. So this is what uh, we have to do in this particular test. So let's go ahead and run this now. Uh, first, I will be closing this particular session. And then I will go ahead and run this. 
So let's look at our app. Okay, so as you can see, it performed uh, the complete flow uh, of where it clicked on the particular element and then it displayed the alert window and then it clicked on the OK button to close it. Okay, so uh, that's how uh, we can test the simple alert. So let's name this a uh, simple alert. Okay, and then uh, let's create another method for the OK cancel. So here uh, we will say, okay, cancel alert. Okay, and in this, uh, we need to find out uh, what the element which uh, we need to click. Okay, so we'll click on the alert views, but here we need to click on the okay cancel. So let's look at what that particular element uh, accessibility ID is. So we will come here, we will tap and then uh, this is the accessibility ID. So we are going to click here. Now, instead of uh, clicking on OK, we are going to click on the cancel button. OK, so what I'm going to do is instead of accept, I'm going to use another method, which is the dismiss. OK, so this is similar to clicking on the cancel button. So uh, let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so as you can see, it clicked on the cancel button to close the window. Now, uh, let's move on to the next one. And here we are going to enter some text. Okay, so uh, this is the third type of alert, which is the text entry. So let's name this text entry. And here, uh, now we will look at this particular element. Again, we have got accessibility ID, so we'll use it. And this time around, uh, we are going to actually enter some text. Okay, so for that, we have a, got a different method, and that is the send keys method. So in the send keys, we can type some text. Okay, so we'll say this is a test. Right? Uh, so now let's go ahead and quickly run this. Okay, so you can see uh, it typed uh, the particular message. Uh, what we can also do is uh, we could either do a accept or dismiss after we type the particular text. So let's do a accept here. So it will basically type the text and then uh, it will click on OK, right? Now uh, let's move on to the next and the final uh, method which we are going to write. And that is for getting uh, the text which is present uh, on this particular alert window, okay? So here, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to click on the other element, and then uh, we are going to capture this text which is present in this alert, which is a short title is best, a message should be a short, complete sentence, okay? So we are going to uh, capture this and we'll uh, print it out. We can also validate that. So let's look at how we can do this. So we'll say other alert. And here, uh, I know that uh, it has got an accessibility ID. So um, I will use that to click on it. And then uh, here, instead of send keys, so we are going to use a method called get text. So what we can do is we can store this into a string. So we will say uh, MSG, okay? And then uh, we can either validate it or uh, we can also print it. Okay, so let's print it out. And we'll say message here. And then instead of uh, accepting the alert, we'll dismiss it, okay? So we can do both, but uh, I'm choosing to dismiss it. So let's go ahead and let's try to run this and let's see what message is coming up. Okay, so we will look at our app here. Okay, it clicked here. And uh, if we look at the logs, you will see that uh, it has captured the text. 
So you can capture the text of the alert and uh, obviously we can validate it. We just need to write a particular uh, assert here. So we can say assert dot assert true and we'll say message dot contains. And here we will type something. So we'll type here a short title. Okay, so it will check whether it contains uh, the short title or not. So if I run this again, so here you will see that the test has passed and it has also printed the same message. So this is how you can handle different types of alerts uh, in your uh, iOS application or your mobile application. Uh, you can perform different types of operations using the different methods which are available uh, with uh, the WebDriver API. So we have to use the switch to uh, method and then it has got a couple of other methods uh, through which we can perform some other operations. Uh, we can also validate the text uh, on these alerts and do a lot of other things. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.